All right, in this ICT basics video, I'm going to provide you with a valuable piece of advice um, that, in my opinion, you should, you should implement immediately. Um, I have overcomplicated things with uh, ICT's work, and you know that has caused me some pain, some trouble, uh, especially in the month of August, which has just been a difficult month, period. Um, you must pick one PD array. You have to pick one pattern and stick with that pattern. So, and by the way, the inversion of that pattern, so like an inverted fair value gap, is a separate pattern. <laughs> so, if you're gonna be like me and you're just gonna pick fair value gaps, you're just gonna use fair value gaps, that's it. That's all you use, nothing else. No turtle soups, no three drive patterns, no Judas swings, nothing. You can be aware of those things and you can be aware of other patterns, but you don't use them. Um, you can be aware of your timing, like, you know, what the macro times are, what the market should be doing right now. That That is a little bit separate from the PD array. But you have to pick, if you're going to be a breaker block trader, that's all you do. If you're going to be an inversion breaker block trader, that's all you do. If you're going to be an order block trader, that's all you do. Inversion order block, that's all you do. Um, you're going to play opening range gaps, that's all you do. It, it, again... You might see Michael use different models. You can't do that. Uh, I've tried it, and I'm telling you right now, you got to simplify. So if you're just going to trade the silver bullet, that's all you do. If you're just going to trade the model 2022, that's all you do. Uh, for me, I'm just going to trade fair value gaps. Not inversion fair value gaps, literally just fair value gaps. No liquidity, no nothing, just fair value gaps. And um, anyways, in this video, I'm... I'm just letting you know that you pick a model, one model, and not the inversion of that. Like if it's going to be fair value gaps, that's it, and nothing else. You can use your macro times. Uh, you, you know, you can use your timing models in addition to like the macro times. But other than that, guys, you got to pick one PD array. You got to stick with it, and that's all you use. You got to simplify your life, or you, you're going to easily overcomplicate, overtrade, trade too much, make too many executions. That's what I've done. Um, so you find a PD array, you find a, one of Michael's models that you like, you stick with, and that's all you do. Uh, so for me, it's just fair value gaps. Not inversion fair value gaps, just literally fair value gaps. That's it. And they're more than enough to make a living off of. Okay. Bye-bye. By the way, if you're wondering, like, well, which fair value gap do you pick? Well, then you use some of your other information, like, liquidity and macros but anyways you're just entering in on fair value gaps literally that's it your your only entry mechanism is a fair value gap okay guys in this ict basics video i talked about why you must pick one pd array and you must stick with it you want you must pick one model you stick with that model that's all you do bye bye